Welcome back. Of course, it's time for What's Up and About, and there's quite a lot that is up and about having to do with public servants and all of that, yeah? Mm -hmm. M.M., you have that scoop here. Tell yes, us Yes, I do. So um, I think it was yesterday I saw this um, poster on someone's um, status, and it was quite an interesting one. At first, I thought it was an obituary. <laughs> and then I leaned closer, mm -hmm. and then I found out that it was actually a poster that was made by the entire staff of Corporate, Corporate Affairs Commission mm -hmm. celebrating the inglorious exits of wow. a fetish and vicious tyrant, Registrar General, whose tyrannical reign of three years and nine months terminates on the, that, that's he, he was retiring on, uh, on the 13th retired of October. Or retired Well, retired. Okay. okay, so it terminates. So yeah. you're not exactly sure if yes, he was retired he was or he was, he was fired. fired. He was fired. Yeah. He was fired. Uh, he was fired. And then, you know, he'll be fondly remembered for abuse of office, backwardness, power intoxication, lies, impunity, divide and rules styles of leadership, mischief, high level of corruption, sadism, nepotism, zero staff welfare, witch hunting, illegalities, and the list goes on. Wow. Physical abuse wow. in a workplace. Mm. CAC of all workplaces. Hey, bro, yeah, yeah, those are allegations now. Allegation by the entire staff. <laughs> you know, I, well, and they said with gratitude to God. <laughs> the entire he put staff his picture of, there. And they put his okay, picture so, there. Yeah, I, I, what, what did I guess is that it has the aesthetics or it has a semblance of oh, an obituary exactly. so there's a style yes. exactly. so, so there's a something. style yeah of that course. they put up something so they intentionally did it that way of course. i don't know and one of these styles of those kind of this is that is poor quality as it were yeah mm -hmm. by the way just somebody that said that my friend they saw my own poster and say i look like i want to take somebody's money and run the way i was on the poster <laughs> god is watching you but, but yeah back to this one uh <laughs> I think there have been two or three office holders. There was a particular one where the staff even blocked uh, the protest. The, the protest, yes. It was a post. Yes. We, I mean, uh, we, are, I, I, we are getting to a phase where mm -hmm. I think we need to understand that power, the people have the power. The power is in the people. Yeah. The people all have the power. So it's not okay to just lead an agency, lead a country, lead a state, and deal with impunity. You have to think about what you are doing. And then, yeah. most importantly, feedback. You, you might be okay, you might think that what you're doing is mm -hmm. what you're meant to do, but you see, if you cannot impact the people that you're meant to do, no matter mm -hmm. how right you are, you have to think about feedback. When they give back, how do you, so feedback, I think that's something that, you know, as a nation, we need to inculcate even more. Yes, because I mean, even when I, I was having this conversation um, in the makeup room, when I showed uh, the poster to Wilfred, I was saying that um, I'm, I'm impressed by the you know level of accountability mm -hmm. you know that the staff is you know um, asking for mm -hmm. in this regard they are calling him out mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but let, this should go further to you know um, we should begin to demand more accountability mm -hmm. for governance you know for mm -hmm. the kind of leaders that we need that we want mm -hmm. whether it's from the federal or you know state level yeah. because if we begin to if we have this kind of energy to call people out when you know their, their their reign in office is over, we should always have we should as well have that same energy, you know, in you know accounting and calling in terms of what you're going to do for us. Mm -hmm. This is what we should we are expecting from you. Mm -hmm. And if within this period it's not being done, we don't see any you know changes. We don't see any. Then we'll have to call you out and take you out of. We we'll have to yeah. get you out of office. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I mean, um, yeah, there are different ways to look at this as well. And 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 for me, yeah, as much as you see opposition or whatever and. Uh, when it comes to governance and all of that, there will definitely be voices and all of that. My point now is that it is not where, when people, when we talk about the president and all of that, we have to understand that he's one person, there is a whole, whole leadership, of, yeah. there's governor. We have three levels of government in this country. Yeah. There is a local government, there is the state government, of course, and then there's the federal, federal government. government. The other day, we're talking about roads and all of that. We're talking about roads in local governments. We're talking about allocations. These people are giving allocations and we know that mm -hmm. you get it regularly. regularly. It is not, it comes in without fail. Mm -hmm. 
what is happening with these ones? As much as we want to call out people on the higher levels of government, those that are around us, someone was talking about how do you even know the representative of yeah. your region? Very do you true. know the, the, the member of the, of, of the Senate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that is representing, representing your, your constituency? Yeah. Do you know? You understand? Have you spoken to him and mm -hmm. individually and told him, ah, Oga, why are you taking mm -hmm. 160 million yeah. for SUV mm -hmm. or so now, something exactly. like that? So there's one thing, talking about knowing them personally and then all of that. But then again, the thing that's very important is so how accessible are these people? Right? Talking about, yeah, taking 100 and for security. It's not the security that will stop you from seeing him. Yeah. Do you understand? So because a lot of times, I mean, we see public officers come to certain places and then, I, I literally was on social <laughs> media and actually saw a post of some people visiting a particular market and then the market is literally shut down and I'm like, so what is the point? What are we trying to do here? Mm. Was do you understand? So market? as much as, no, no, not Mount 12. Okay. It, so, so as much as, yeah, they're trying to portray, okay, we're going to these places, we're trying to, but then again, what is happening is that we, we, is, is a normal thing. When... A, an important person is coming to Lagos. Mm. The roads are cleared. Where usually damn will mm. be parked or trailers mm. will be parked, they'll clear it up, giving a, an idea and that. Yeah, so when people things. in Lagos are screaming traffic, 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 by the time these people come in, they don't experience it. So how do they really know? And what then the people wrong? that are meant to be addressing this issue, they don't face these issues one one on one. So mm. how would they really understand what so the people are actually going I through? I hope something so I saw just, over this past weekend, into this week, and I hope it's not just for, um, for you know, a facade was when the Senate president was going to an event, I think in Ilaro, and then he came to Lagos and, and used the, uh, the expressway, mm -hmm. you know, and he was stuck for hours. Mm -hmm. And he came with what, a number of senators. Yeah. And I, I read his post. I just, I hope that he didn't do it just, just because of, show. you know, just yeah. for show. Of mm -hmm. But he said, this is what people go through every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So going back, I should think that the Senate president that's talking about God's will mm -hmm. will go back and say, okay, I passed this once. What can I do to alleviate this suffering? Mm -hmm. Roads have... And the most, yeah, and the most frustrating thing, sorry, the most frustrating thing for me is when I actually see these people, whether they're military, public of, um, officers and all of that, with their escorts, and mm -hmm. then they are literally oppressing people because these people want to pass. And I'm like, I don't understand. Why are you in office? Are you here to oppress us? Or do you understand? So most of the times, they'll stop you for traffic offense, mm -hmm. traffic offense. Mm -hmm. But then again, when these people are on the roads, they're mm -hmm. the ones, if there's any semblance of traffic yeah. following one way, doing all They're flouting traffic things. regulations. Not too long ago, this was on social media. I saw Prince um, King Charles now, literally mm. taking a stroll by himself. So, probably, of course, that kind of person is obviously attended at all times. Maybe the aides were there, but they were like far away. Like you could not see any of them in sight. He literally was stopping by, and someone actually recognized him, and they started having a conversation, mm. like a generic. He was surprised that uh, King Charles, you alone here. Yeah. So I saw, just, I saw that that video. You know, as much as, as you say. <laughs> Um, lack of accessibility, mm -hmm. I think, or lack of um, uh, awareness of this. Mm -hmm. I think they know, regardless of the bubble that they live in, mm -hmm. they actually know the, 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 the plights you know, of people, plights of people mm -hmm. what people are just... really, really going through. They just choose, you know, to turn a blind eye because we've also seen leaders. I mean, during Fashola's tenure, when he was mm -hmm. governor of Lagos State, mm -hmm. Fashola would, every project that was going on in Lagos State, mm -hmm. he was there mm -hmm. to monitor it and mm -hmm. even like what you just the institute of king charles there's mm -hmm. one of those times where people saw him you know at just different times at different places mm -hmm. you know and people didn't even know that he was you know people couldn't even recognize mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. so if you really really want to do the work you will show up you will be there physically to you know monitor it and see how it's being done but i, I like the call outs though i, I love the call outs i wish we had more time yeah. but we just have to go yeah um the, the most we can do is to keep talking and to understand that look hey this thing is not just about one person. It's not just about the person on top. There are a thousand. Yeah. Of we got a lot of people that if we help them yeah. accountably, yeah. they do the right thing also. It might not bother so much. You Let's understand? drag them. Drag them. Is your boss in the office? Is the private office? Drag them. Yeah, wait. Yeah. Right. You better yes. use okay. emotional intelligence you while you're doing that drag. You see why I like the agency? They don't say okay. drag them. Okay. All right. We'll take a time out now. Stay with us. We'll be back in a bit.